All right, folks, my name is Matt O'Neill, and I am a recreation supervisor with the city of Oxnard. And for the past two years, I have had the pleasure of overseeing our Oxnard Special Populations Program. Today, I wanted to speak with you all about our OSP program, and I'm going to cover some of the programs that we offer, the inclusion training program that was developed for our cultural and community services staff, and the steps being taken to assure that Oxnard Special Events are as accessible and enjoyable for folks of all ages and abilities. So let's get started. First off, our uh, Oxnard Special Populations Program offers a wide variety of seasonal sports programming, uh, such as flag football, basketball, dance, golf, boxing, soccer, and open gym opportunities. These low pressure teamwork oriented sports programs allow participants ages five and older to create memories that will last a lifetime. Along with sports, we offer programs like Chill, Color and Craft, which is provided in conjunction with the Oxnard Public Library and weekly youth art classes for folks looking to engage their creative sides. To top it all off, OSP offers great social opportunities like monthly fun club, day at the park, and holiday events where participants can hang out, play games, make crafts, eat, and enjoy each other's company. The OSP program is well-rounded, and we think that there is an opportunity for everyone, regardless of socioeconomic status or ability, to find a happy place right here at Oxnard. Along with the wide array of programming opportunities that we offer to our community, OSP has also taken steps to educate our fellow cultural and community services staff members with our 2023 Inclusion Training Series. These trainings aimed at helping our CCS staff members better work with and program for folks with disabilities. It featured impactful guest speakers. For example, our February training had Danny Anderson, the County of Ventura's first ever disability access manager, give a great presentation. We brought in agencies like CARD, the Center for Autism and Related Disorders, and ABS Kids to talk about different services they offer that could potentially help folks with disabilities. And we covered best practices for working with kids with disabilities, including utilizing our OSP sensory kits. Which brings us to our last slide here, which, uh, which is OSP's effort to make special events more accessible. In order to help folks who struggle with sensory overload, OSP has started offering sensory kits at CCS special events. These kits include ear protection, fidgets, and name badges for nonverbal participants. Along with the sensory kits, OSP has partnered with our Oxnard City Corps program to provide a sensory tent area for folks who become too stimulated at, at city events. The 10 by 20 mobile sensory tent features comfortable seating, fidgets, games, and white noise that is designed to calm folks down who are experiencing sensory overload. These kits and our sensory tent were also featured at this year's Oxnard Accessible Extravaganza, which was an event specifically designed to accommodate our OSP population and provide them with a memorable egg hunt activity this March. As you can see, OSP is a busy program making strides to work with all of the cultural and community services department to offer quality programs and special event opportunities that are accessible to folks of all abilities. Thank you so much for your time and thank you for allowing me to talk to you today about our Oxnard Special Populations Program.